Hello everyone, welcome to Manoch Academy. We have been talking about cells for quite some time, but we all know that cells are the structural and functional units of our body. All these cells also have a lifespan, that is, beyond a certain point, they also need to die and new and fresh cells need to be formed. But how does your body control this cell death? Which structure helps the cell to die or sometimes if certain structures present inside the cell is damaged, how do you get rid of it? Lysosomes is the answer to all these. So let's talk about lysosomes, the suicidal bags of the cell today. Lysosomes were accidentally discovered by Christian D. Duvet in 1955 while he was carrying out cell fractionation. It was later observed and described and named by Novikov in 1956. The lysosomes are single membrane bound sac like structures which are present in the cytoplasm of a cell. Their size can vary from very small to large but usually inside the lysosome there is an outer denser region and an inner granular slightly fibrous region. It contains enzymes which can be of a variety of types. There has been 50 different types of lysosomal enzymes that has already been discovered and isolated. Usually they form a minute crystal like structure or a crystalline form inside the cell. The enzymes that are present inside the lysosomes are of a special type. They are called acid hydrolases. Now what are hydrolases? The word hydro means water, lase means to break down. So they do not break down water, they break down other substances in the presence of water. So they introduce a molecule of water into the substrate that they want to react on and they break that substrate down. And why acid hydrolase? Because these enzymes are active in an acidic pH which ranges from about 4 to 5. The acidic medium inside the lysosome will be maintained or can be maintained by actively introducing hydrogen ions into the lysosomes. And these enzymes are extremely potent. They can digest anything that comes in contact with them. They can digest old worn out cell organelles. They can digest living bacteria or other pathogens. They can digest the entire cell. So just imagine these enzymes are in contact with its own membrane. Can it not digest its own membrane? Of course it can. And to prevent that digestion, the membrane that is covering the lysosome, which actually is made up of protein and lipid, is highly glycosylated. Meaning that the protein and the lipids remain attached to a large amount of carbohydrates, which reduces the reactivity of the acidic hydrolases. When the reaction has to take place, this membrane bursts open, releasing the acid hydrolases and that can digest the worn out cell organelles or the entire cell. And if it can digest the entire cell, it basically helps in apoptosis. What is apoptosis? Apoptosis is programmed cell death. So every cell in our body has a certain lifespan after which it should die. And that programmed death is carried out by using these bags of enzymes that are released and digest the entire cell. So that is why sometimes they are regarded as the suicidal bags as well. Lysosomes are polymorphic. That means that they have poly meaning multiple morphological structures that is structural forms. Depending on what they are trying to digest and with which other structure they have united, there can be four types of lysosomes. The first type of lysosome is the fresh lysosome that has just been formed from the Golgi bodies and it is known as the primary lysosome. It is nothing but a single membrane bound sac that contains the acid hydrolases. Now when a cell carries out phagocytosis and engulfs food, it takes the food inside a vacuole. The vacuole is called phagosome or it is called food vacuole, right? Now the food vacuole contains food which needs to be digested and for that 
the acid hydrolases will have to be added to the food. Now, if you just release the acid hydrolases in the cytoplasm, obviously the entire cell will be digested. You can't do that. So what happens now is the food vacuole and the uh, primary lysosome, they come closer to each other and they fuse to form a single vacuole, which has both the enzyme and the food in a membrane bound system so that nothing else is digested. This is known as the secondary lysosome. Sometimes lysosomes may need to digest the cell's own worn out cell organelles. Let's say mitochondria, one mitochondrion has been damaged inside the cell, so it has to die. This mitochondria will be surrounded by a membrane forming a vacuole and since this vacuole has not taken anything from outside, the vacuole contains the cell's own product that is why this vacuole is now called autophagosome. It's still a phagosome which contains substances inside but it is autophagosome because it contains its own structures or cell organelles inside. If the primary lysosome fuses with an autophagosome then also a secondary lysosome can be formed. After the entire process of digestion has taken place inside the secondary lysosome, what is left behind is called a residual body. So this residual body is again a vacuole which contains the wastes that are left behind after digestion. Usually these residual bodies should be thrown out of the cell and excreted from the body, usually by the process of exocytosis. Sometimes if residual bodies accumulate inside the cell and wastes are not given out and excreted from the body, it can cause different kinds of diseases. So the four types of lysosomes are primary lysosome which has been just formed from the Golgi bodies, secondary lysosomes they are also known as heterophagosomes which have been formed by fusing a vacuole with food and a primary lysosome. Autophagosomes, autophagic vacuoles which are formed by the union of autophagosomes which contain cellular components fused with the primary lysosome and number four residual bodies that contain wastes after digestion. The lysosomes essentially act as the suicidal bags which are responsible for cell death after the cell has lived its stipulated time. So they carry out the digestion of the cell. They are also intracellular scavengers that is they are responsible for digesting the worn out and damaged cell organelles. They are responsible for also digesting the egg membranes. So there are some lysosomal enzymes present in the sperm which helps in digesting the egg membrane when the nucleus of the sperm is trying to enter into the egg cell. Certain lysosomal enzymes are responsible for killing pathogens that have entered into the body. So they also help in body defense. So the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies and lysosomes together form a system which is known as the girl complex G E R L where G stands for Golgi bodies, E R stands for endoplasmic reticulum and L stands for lysosomes. Why is it a complex? Because they work in coordination with each other. How? The endoplasmic reticulum forms the primary protein structures, the primary carbohydrate and lipid structures. It is sent to the Golgi bodies. The Golgi bodies modify these proteins and give it their final form, modified active form. And then some of these proteins which are enzymes, they are packed inside membranes to form lysosomes. So these three structures in a cell you will see is also very closely related to each other. They are very closely placed so that they can be in communication with each other and together they form this girl complex. So that was all about lysosomes. Now I have told you that there are 50 different types of lysosomal enzymes. Can you name the most abundant enzyme that is present in the lysosomes? Please write your answers in the comments below. I wait eagerly to read your answers.
I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Do hit the like button and share it with your friends if you did. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell. Do check out the full course on our website and Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. Let's stay connected and let's keep learning together.